Something's taking that. Yep, something's gone with it. Something's gone with it. Something is gone with that. Bro, so much. Got it, got it. Stay on there. Stay on there. It's right there. We got it. Yes, there we go. In the net. So it looks like we have finally made it to the pond here. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be targeting a fish that I've seldom targeted, a fish that gets pretty big, fights hard, and uh, hopefully we can't get on one of these because these are some pretty sick fish that in my opinion, get a pretty bad rap. They're sometimes considered a trash fish, a fish you don't wanna catch. But once you guys see what these fish can do, hopefully we can't get on some and I'll show you kind of the true power of these fish. So let's get rigged up, cast out there, and I'll tell you a little bit more about what we're doing today. Let's get right into it. That's fish. That's fish. He's got it. Got it. There we go. Number one. Number one. So sick. Right up in that tree. Not the target species for today, but I will take it. That is a nice, chunky, healthy spring bass. Just barely hit that. Felt my line run a little bit, and he was on it. It's a cool little fish. Definitely chunked up. For the spring, let's get him back. All right, once again, not the target species, but a cool, really nice looking fish right there. Let's throw him back. There he goes. Thought I'd bring over my bass gear while I'm waiting for one of, my, one of the bites on one of my kind of stagnant rods over there, uh, which hopefully I think we'll be able to get a fish on. It's only been a few minutes, but why not throw just a little creature bait up in this uh, fallen tree? Let's get back in there and I'll take a few more little bass, but I'm really looking for one of those big, aggressive, hard fighting fish that I'm targeting over there. Let's get back in there. We're getting bit right now on the, one of these rods. Oh my God, we're getting bit on this one as well. We, we got a fish on this one. Let's let him run with it. We've got a fish on this one. Yo, what? All right, we've got a fish, we've got a fish. He's taking it, he's got it. Got it. Got him, got him, got him, got him. What is this, what is this? We've got him, doesn't seem super big. Does not seem super big. Ah, it's a little bluegill. That's all right, that's all right. Just a little bluegill. We were getting bit on that rod. I turned over, we were getting bites on this rod as well. It is a little bluegill, not the target species. Not the target species, but a really nice looking fish. Let's get him back. All right guys, well, again, not the target species, but a cool little fish. There he goes. That was pretty sick. I mean, uh, that's not the target species. Once again, that is kind of a, a bycatch that you can get when fishing for the species that I'm going for. On some of these rods, I have some bigger baits. On some of them, I'm just fishing with straight corn on a hook. And of course, while that can uh, catch the fish that I'm targeting, can also catch some of these bluegill. I'll take it, but at least we're seeing some action now after uh, not too much in the first round half hour. Let's get back in there.
Guys, something is taking the bread rod currently. I was about to change spots. Slowly taking it. Let's leave some slack in my line. Let's let him take it. Come on, take it. It's our first bite really at this pod on the bread rod. I've got one rod with bread. I've got one with uh, corn over there and then one with just like a, almost a little uh, kind of power bait, but slightly different. It's just kind of a scented, almost Orvi shaped type thing. Dang. That was a good bite right there. I saw, I was about to change spots. I saw my bobber just kind of slowly going up and down. And then of course, it just kind of starts running out. I mean, I'm not casting very far away from uh, the bank. It seems like a lot of these fish are in some of these shallower water, some of the shallower water. So I'm really just focusing on really just like 10 feet from the bank. That's where I've been seeing a few things surface, a few things kind of rolling over on the surface. I mean, if you, if you couldn't tell by now, I am going after carp. I was kind of keeping it a little bit secretive. I know most of you guys probably knew what I was talking about for the most part, but it seems like they're around these kind of shallow areas. There's one little shallow flat over on the other side of the pond. That's where I see the majority of the carp when I do come here. Um, I mean, a lot of times I'm just bass fishing, but I do see carp kind of surfacing over there as the kind of plumes of dirt come up from carp on the bottom. Um, so we're gonna move over there, but that was definitely a bite on the bread rod. So could have been a bluegill, could have been a carp, but it's a good sign either way. I think uh, with time, we're gonna get one here today. Something's taking that. Yep, something's gone with it. Something's gone with it. Something is gone with that. Bro, so much. Got him, got him. That's a carp, that's a carp. Got him, got him, got him. There we go. That is definitely a carp. That is definitely a carp. There we go, there we go. He's running, he's running. There we go, there we go. Stay on there, stay on there. Oh, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. Stay on there. Come on, it's fighting right there. It's a mirror carp, it's not huge, but it's a good one. Come on, stay on, buddy, stay on. Here we go, we got the net. Come on, first one. Here we go. Come on, get in the net, that's right. Let him tire out. It's not a giant, but it's a nice little mirror carp. All right, get over here, buddy. Come on, come right into the net. Almost, almost, almost. Let's reel him in a little bit more. Come on. It's right there. We got him, yes, there we go, in the net. First one, a nice little mirror carp. Absolutely destroyed it. Let's get this guy unhooked and back in the water. All right guys, my first ever mirror carp from this little pond here. It's not a giant. I give him maybe close to five pounds, but that is such a cool little fish. Great little fight there on the little light action rod, on the bread. Let's get this guy back. And there he goes, let's go. That's my first ever mirror carp. I was about to move away from this spot. And of course, I just saw a carp surface right over there. So I stayed here for just a few more minutes. I got two rods in with bread, uh, actually all three with bread, two of them with bobbers just sitting right over here. I was using my bass stuff for just a minute. And of course I see my bobber going up and down and those fish fight hard. I've hooked a few before um, and they definitely fight pound for pound, one of the hardest fighting fish. And uh, nice little pond carp. Let's get back in there and get on maybe a bigger one, but that's exactly what we wanted today. All right, so basically what I'm using to kind of target these carp is pretty simple. You have just some Wonder Bread right here. 
I've got a spinning rod, and all I'm doing is taking one of these pieces of Wonder Bread, taking out just the middle of that without the crust, just taking it out. We've got these little tiny octopus hooks on there. They kind of act the same as circle hooks. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. So they do almost set the hook by yourself. You don't have to do too much work when setting the hook. If you just leave that out there on a bobber on the bottom and that fish takes it, it's really, you don't have to do much and that fish is gonna get hooked. But I'm just taking kind of the inside of that Wonder Bread. I'm kind of hooking my hook through it and I'm just mashing it up right over top of the back of the hook. I'm leaving that hook point exposed just a little bit, but not too much. I'm really covering the shaft of that hook and uh, just packing it in there. If you don't pack it in enough, it's obviously just gonna throw off your, uh, your hook as you cast. And just packing that in there. I've got a bobber, maybe two, two and a half, three feet above where that is. And for most of the pond, that's just gonna allow it to be on the bottom. Uh, sometimes it will, it will lay suspended, but really it's just a bite indicator for me. And it's really what I've had the most luck in, um, just keeping this Wonder Bread on a little bobber. All I'm doing is just taking a little pitch, not too far, just right next to the bank, and I'm letting that sin sink. I'll, I'll cast a few out a little bit further as well and let them kind of drift in with the wind, but that is what got that fish to eat. And when you're fishing with carp, the most important thing is to be patient. You gotta cast out there and just let your bait sit. Even if they're moving towards an area you don't necessarily think there's gonna be, oh, I'm getting bit already. Possibly just a little bluegill, but I'm getting hit already. Most of the time you do have to wait, maybe uh, chum in some corn, that's what I've been doing. I've taken little pieces, mainly the crust of that Wonder Bread and throwing it in as kind of chum, if you wanna call it that. And then also a little frozen corn, putting it in there. That's gonna attract some of these bluegill, attract some of these carp. And that's how uh, we got that first fish. But that was number one, nice little mirror carp. Nothing too huge, but that's my first mirror carp ever. Out of just this little pond that I come to catch bass at all the time. So let's get back in there and hopefully the Wonder Bread can uh, get on some more fish for us. Let's get back in there. All right, guys, as I'm taking my kind of last cast out there, looks like the day is coming to a close. We've been here for uh, quite a while, a few hours. And of course we did get the one nice little mirror carp, albeit not a very big one, but my first ever mirror carp just out of this little pond. And obviously, uh, honestly, not a bad day. We got a carp, we got a bluegill, we got a bass. So three species out of, uh, just some of these small little local ponds around me. And I really did want to come out and target carp because I know they fight super hard. I don't target them often, but when I do, and I hook up to some, which I have before, uh, they fight hard and uh, they get obviously pretty big. And uh, it really, it's a really a little bit interesting to me that people do consider these a trash fish. Obviously, they're not the most sought after fish. I mean, even, even for me, um, I'm going after bass 90% of the time, but, Carp really do get a bad rap. They fight hard, they get big, as I said. And um, I think I'm, I'm gonna reel in these rods and that's gonna be about it for today. If you guys do wanna see me come out to this little pond, uh, hopefully when it's a little less windy, I know it doesn't seem super windy right now, but we've had some gusts of wind um, that's really been making it hard to fish, especially with the bobber. That's gonna bring your bait in right towards the bank, which makes it a little bit more difficult. Uh, to fish when you are using a bobber. But anyway, if you guys do want to see me carp fish more, um, get on some bigger carp, uh, maybe stay out for longer, do a little bit more research on how to catch these fish. Um, this is kind of the first little taste of carp fishing on the channel. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you hit it with a thumbs up, subscribe down below. We are only about five subs away from uh, 1,000. So thank you guys for the support. Like I said, comment down below. Do you want to see more carp fishing? bass fishing, cat fishing, trout fishing, anything you can imagine, comment it down below and I will try it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.